amazing holiday side dishes. Now, this is a really classic one, but it's one of my favorites because it's so, so easy to make and you can even start a few hours in advance so that you're not rushing at the last minute. They're called Yorkshire Puddings and it's just a really easy combination of ingredients and we're gonna get right, just started right away into this dish. So we're gonna start by, in our mixing bowl, adding in four large eggs. Now, four large eggs measures out to about three quarters of a cup. So we wanna add equal parts of milk and a little pinch of salt. Now make sure you stay till the end of the video because we're gonna be showing you a little trick to make sure that yours turn out ultra fluffy. We're gonna give this a whisk together until it's totally combined and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. All right, so I have misplaced the hot plate sieve today, so I'm gonna make do with our bigger sieve colander type thing, which I use to mostly drain lettuce. And we're gonna add in our flour. And we're gonna sieve our flour just to make sure that we get rid of a lot of those big lumps so that our Yorkshire puddings are totally smooth. All right. And what you can see is that all the flour we have in here now is ultra, ultra fine. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna whisk it together till there are no lumps left. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like when I'm done. So our mixture is all combined and there's no lumps. It's just nice and almost like a little bit of a thin um, pancake mixture, but this is gonna thicken up. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab another clean bowl we're gonna put our whisk over to the side here, and we're gonna grab, again, I'm sorry, we're makeshifting today on set, but we're gonna use the other side, or you know, a clean sieve would be preferable, and we're gonna run our batter through this one more time. And the reason we're doing it is to make sure that there are no lumps. We want this to be ultra, ultra smooth. So you can see here, it's just catching some of the little leftover lumps that we weren't gonna be able to mix out, and it means that we're left with a gorgeous, totally smooth batter. Okay. There we go. So now we are going to set this aside and we're going to let it rise for 30 minutes, but it could sit for up to three hours. So you can just sit it aside and forget about it. And when we come back, we're going to show you how to finish up your Yorkshire puddings. And now we've kind of got a nice thick base. So we're going to leave this aside and then I'm going to show you that last secret step that I talked about at the beginning. We're going to get our muffin tin ready. Now I'm using a regular kind of, you know, half a cup size muffin tin. And we've got some melted butter here. And we're just gonna spoon a little bit of butter into the bottom of each one. And this is so important because this is what's gonna brown the outside of our Yorkshire pudding so that they get a little bit crispy. Oh, they're gonna bake up and be so puffy and amazing. So now, this is a little unorthodox for you bakers out there, but we're actually gonna put our muffin tin into our oven, which is preheated to 450 degrees for about a minute until the butter starts to smoke. All right. Now we're gonna do this last step quickly before that's ready to go. So the last thing we're gonna do to the Yorkshire puddings, this is gonna help them steam and to rise, is to add two tablespoons of cold water. And we're just gonna whisk it in here. We're gonna be filling it up so that it's a third full in each of the muffin cups and then popping it into the oven for about 20 minutes until they're puffed and golden. Our Yorkshire puddings are all done and we brought them out of the oven. We let them cool for just two minutes and they started to sink and get all amazing. Now these puppies are supposed to be served up traditionally with roast beef and some gorgeous gravy, but we're just gonna have a little nibble just like this today. Look how light and fluffy these are. Oh my goodness, it's just like air, air, air in here. And they are the perfect, perfect thing to mop up all of that amazing gravy. Oh yeah, they're just really, really simple, super light. They're, they're the perfect side dish for the holidays and they are amazing with leftovers. Thanks so much for checking out The Hot Plate. Make sure to check out this and all of our other seasonal side dishes at thehotplate.com and our episodes every Tuesday. And of course, updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.